dengue had been eliminated in this hemisphere for quite a while. Unfortunately, it's got reintroduced re, uh, and has been uh, generally growing uh, since then. Donald the Shepard spoke to VOA via Skype. He and his colleagues studied the economic burden of dengue fever on the Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. Shepard says the figure they came up with was staggering. The economic cost of dengue in Puerto Rico averaged about $40 million uh, per year. The moderate-sized island that Puerto Rico is is a, um, is a substantial uh, amount of money. Dengue is a viral infection spread by the bite of a small striped-bellied mosquito called Aedes aegypti. Outbreaks commonly rise after heavy summer rains, which create stagnant water, breeding areas for the mosquitoes that carry the virus. Dengue can cause high fevers, headaches, severe muscle and joint pain, lack of appetite and fatigue. And in many parts of Asia and Africa where it is still endemic, the disease can prove fatal. A particularly nasty feature of dengue is something that uh, uh, microbiologists call antibody enhancement, such that if you've had one of the dengue serotypes and then you get another one, the second one is more severe illness than it would have been is the first time. Experts say people can usually recover from these severe bouts of dengue even with no drugs to fight the virus. But they need to receive good medical care, especially close monitoring of bodily fluids and proper diagnosis of dengue's high fever, which can be mistakenly blamed on more common causes. Dr. Dan Stinchcomb is the chief executive officer of Inverigen which is developing a vaccine against the multiple dengue viruses. He says developing a safe vaccine has been a significant challenge. Because dengue is a, is a problem that affects age, you know, different ages throughout the world. In Southeast Asia, it's mainly a ch childhood disease. But in Central and South America and other parts of Asia, you know, it, can, it can still affect adults as well. Experts say because the cost of treating dengue victims is so high, it's important that affected countries strengthen their traditional disease surveillance, prevention and control efforts until a drug or vaccine is available to combat the virus. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.